And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry. And alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It's Benfica up against Inter. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. the starting 11 looks for Benfica Joao Mario plays with David Neres out wide and the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset is as follows. Francesco Acerbi plays with Milan Striniar in central defence. Henrik Mkhitaryan starts alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Edin Dzeko. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage match day one underway might be able to get in behind the defence no possibilities inside the box Ramos Joao Mario Wonderful chance, and a goal! That is a very bright start, perfect way to open. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. to get the ball rolling again it's going to be interesting to see whether or not that goal stings them into action Dzeko Barella well they know they need to stop him and let's give credit to the defending Grimaldo Takes on the shot. Well, it could have been a better effort, and I think we were all expecting it would be. Martinez. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Florentino. David Neres. David Neres. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Rafa! Well, we really have to call that a squandered opportunity, Stuart. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. He should have made him work harder there. Federico Di Marco. Chalanolu. Di Marco. It's with Chalanolu. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. 
Well, a top knock. And the referee doesn't hesitate. That is a spot kick. Well, no card handed out, but quite a few upset players out there, Stuart. Well, he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball, so penalty yes, yellow card no. An opportunity to level matters. And slot it home! Well, his heart might have been fluttering, but he didn't show it. A goal from the spot. Well, here it is again. The keeper tries to read the penalty, but in the end, he just makes no effort whatsoever. That's a strange decision. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Joao Mario in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Bar. On the ball, Florentino. Joao Mario. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes, finally. Federico Di Marco. It's with Chalanolu. Martinez. Inter have given away possession. Joao Mario. It's with Rafa. David Neres. Has a go. Not out of the woods yet. David Neres. Using his body to good effect. Poor pass under no real pressure. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. Chalanoru. <laughs> On the offensive, just the challenge that was required. And what can they do to stop him running at them? But nothing comes of it. So a throw in for Inter here. Barella on to Mkhitaryan still on level terms moving the ball nicely real chance what a lovely strike lethal piece of finishing drilled home with true conviction tremendous goal well here's the replay and it's a really inviting ball played into the box begging players to attack it but you do have to ask questions of the keeper could he have done better here I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. Well, oh, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Hendrik Mkhitaryan Federico Di Marco Martinez that's well blocked Ba Otamendi has it Grimaldo Frederick Aursnes losing possession Dzeko <laughs> wilting under the pressure and now they try to go forward and a free kick awarded by the referee 
This attack looks highly promising. Dzeko. On to Mkhitaryan. And that's a very good parry. So a corner for Inter. What can they do with this one? Taken short. Into the centre from Mkhitaryan. And still dangerous. Skriniar. Timely intervention. <laughs> Hendrik Mkhitaryan. And return to Dzeko. The first half here comes to an end. Edin Dzeko has played at such a high level for so many years. Is he stamping his authority on the game the way you thought he would? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Good work from Benfica to win the ball back. Di Marco. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Martinez. Oh, that's a really good run. Crucial interception amid impending danger. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, not to be in terms of the counter-attack. Matteo Damian. It's with Chalhanolu. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Who can he pick out? And a throw for Inter. Dzeko, and the snuffing out of the cross there. Oh, maybe the equaliser. Defensive excellence there. Federico Di Marco. Space here on the flank. And Dzeko's in there. It comes to nothing in the end. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Oh, it's off the post. Well, threat over for now. Well, had that gone in, they would be in complete control of this game. As it is, they're still going to be a bit nervy. Can he find the right pass? And the counter-attack is on. Options available. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Now what can they do from here? Opportunity! No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. Here it is again, and it's all 
about the pace on the counter attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. Well, back underway here, and they've split the four goals between them so far. that is over the top of the defence it's weighted perfectly and the strike could not get any better and it's through the back of the ball with such power what a goal this is we'll find out a lot about Inter's attitude in the aftermath of that concession Matteo Damian, Inter in a position of menace. Dzeko. Losing possession. On a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Joao Mario. Dzeko. Be able to set up the chance. Who's going to win this joust? And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Well, perhaps he thought he might escape punishment. Not the case. It's a booking. <laughs> Played over. Well, he had the reading of that delivery, but couldn't find the target. Well, as you can see, Benfica haven't enjoyed the majority of possession, have they? But when they have had it, They've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. Damian. Now with Mkhitaryan. Dzeko. Superb block. Alexander Barr. David Neres. An alert intervention. Can they hit on the break? Danger averted for now, but they have a corner to defend. Substitution time it is here. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, thumped clear. Florentino. Frederick Aursnes. And continues his run. Florentino. Bar. He could pick out a teammate. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. Well, the advantage didn't really accrue to them, and so it's going to be a free kick. Well, he's had his name taken by the referee. Well, he knew he was going to get booked. It's a poor tackle, really.
takes on the shots. And you've got to say, meat and drink to those in the wall. Mkhitaryan. And the pass, a good one. And let's see what attacking position. It's not too late for them. Fine cross into the middle. And a free kick awarded by the referee. Delivered into the box. Well, we are going to have a decent amount of stoppage time. Three minutes to be exact. Rafa. Gonzalo Kedge. Well, the shot had just a bit too much elevation. So full time it is, and a morale boosting three points on the board to begin their European campaign. Yeah, that's a good win and a vital three points. Another win next time out, and they'll be in a great position. Well, a hugely important role played by Rafa. Sensational performance, whatever way you slice it. Stuart, what did you make of his production? Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.